F12 Berlinetta. In a word, nuts. Ferrari rings up and says, what are you doing next week? Do you fancy spending a day in an F12? You kind of make sure that you have a spare day in your time. In case you didn't know, the F12 is brand new from the wheel nuts up. New chassis, new engine, new brakes, new everything. The hard points are that it has 730 bhp. It's rear wheel drive. It has a seven-speed dual-clutch gearbox, and it is the fastest front-engine rear-wheel drive car there has ever been, ever. I've spent the thick end of a day in this thing now, and I'm really struggling to get my head around it. I mean, I've never driven a front-engine rear-wheel drive car that has not just this much power, but this much traction. There are some mad first gear hairpins down there. And I've got the Manatino set to ESC off, which is it's absolutely the setting that you don't really want to put it to when you're driving on the road. And I'm coming out of those hairpins in second gear and giving it absolutely everything on the accelerator. And it's just firing out of them. There's no there's no sliding, there's no wheel spin, no nothing other than just it fires itself down the road. I remember not that long ago driving the 599 GTO and thinking, this is it. No way is a front engine rear wheel drive car going to go better, going to sound better going to steer better, going to handle better, going to do anything better than that car. But this, the F12 just goes to a completely different level. It's outrageously fast, but just so well sorted. And it's pretty comfortable as well. There's this button on the steering wheel here that's got a damper graphic. You press it and this thing on the instrument binnacle here just says bumpy road which I quite like but what it does it just immediately chills the dampers down and you don't get a limousine style ride but you don't get a filling remover either suddenly it just calms down and you can drive it normally like a normal kind of car on the road it's incredible Ferrari are really proud of the fact that they still make an atmospheric V12 engine and I know there's a lot of pomp involved with Ferrari, but flipping it, you really do know what they mean when you drive this car. The throttle response is outrageous, and the noise. It's, oh man, listen to that. It's beautiful. off the dial as well. So fast!
those people that say you're not a sports car until you've got a manual gearbox. I would like to see them change gear as fast as this thing can change gear. It is absolutely incredible, this car. I don't know what they're supposed to do next. I really don't. I cannot believe that we'll be here in five years' time driving the next amazing front-engined rear-wheel drive Ferrari. And I can't believe that it will be any better than this thing. I just don't believe it. I think they've absolutely reached the end of time with this car. Where on earth, I mean where on earth, do you go next after this? But here's a thought. The engine in this car is also the engine in the new LaFerrari. Except in LaFerrari you've got another couple of hundred horsepower courtesy of the Kurz system and 500 odd kilograms less weight. That is going to be completely insane and I cannot wait to drive it. In the meantime, thank you very much Ferrari. But I think I'd better hand the keys back before something terrible happens. Thanks. Thank <laughs> you.